Hey what's up guys, back again with another video in the C++ series. This time I'm going to show you how to make strings. Alright, I already made a project here for our episode, so I'm just going to go ahead and create a new C++ file. That's going to be our, our main file here. And now let's go ahead and create our basic program template. So we'll do include IO stream. Uh, okay, if I can type it correctly. Uh, using namespace std, then int main, boom, just like that, and then return zero, which will terminate the program with a successful message basically okay so last episode i told you that we're going to be working with numbers this episode you know because i told you about the integers and the variables and all that fun stuff but before we do that i lied sorry but before we do that we're going to be working with strings and uh yeah they're pretty cool strings are very important also and when it comes to programming and so strings are very similar to the integer variable except that they can store text instead of numbers so we can store sentences like all kinds of cool stuff and just text in general okay so we can go ahead and create a string by doing string instead of integer we're doing string so that's the type of it and now we can give it a name so we're going to name the variable we're going to call it um let's call it let's see we'll call it name so string name is equal to and then now we can give it a name here inside the double quotes and double quotes are needed whenever you're working with strings you cannot just have it like this without double quotes because that wouldn't be a string that would just be a variable or something else right so you would need to have double quotes so, so yeah you need to have double quotes that would make it a string literal so that your string knows or so that c++ knows that you're working with a string here you're trying to create a string so whenever you're working with strings you use quotations so yeah that's how you create a string so you can print that out if you want to so see out name and l for you know to flush it basically so there we go now that's running so we can see that we have randy now in the console okay so we can print out words now we can even do sentences if we, if we want to right so if we want to we can change the name of this string variable if you want to um like this so we can do name is equal to uh jerry now instead of randy it's now jerry and then we can print it out just to make sure that it was successfully able to change the name and let's try that out and now we can see that first has randy and then we print out the, the value of that and then it changes to jerry and then we print out the value of that and now we have jerry right here right pretty simple but yeah there you go that's how you reassign a string so that's some basic string uh, creation there but now we can also explore you know outputting strings so if we want to output multiple strings at once we could do that so we could do something like this so see out um here is my name and then we could simply have another thing right after that and then we could say name and then after that we'll just flush it of course so what we're doing here is very similar to what we did before except that we're putting multiple strings inside of um, the output statement okay the c out stream all right so um, think of this as a string also even though we didn't put it inside of a variable like a name it's still a string because it's surrounded by double quotes okay or quotations whatever um, so that's still a string even though it's not you know put into a variable so what we're doing here is we're passing two strings into the output stream and it's going to add them together basically and then put them in the output stream okay so let's see what happens when we do that so there we go we get here is my name jerry so it works perfectly right it added them and then put them in the output stream okay so we can even use multiple variables inside of one output statement if we want to so we can do something like this so string sentence is equal to and then we'll just copy and paste this sentence here into this variable so now we're putting that string into a variable so we can save it and now we'll just do c out sentence name and in line like that okay so that actually looks pretty it looks better to me and it looks more clean but yeah we can run that now and it should do the exact same thing so now yeah it says here's my name jerry and then here's my name jerry so it did the same thing except this time we used a variable instead of the actual string literal within the thing okay so that's pretty cool we're adding strings now but to actually officially add strings you know within a variable declaration that would be called concatenation concatenation is the process of adding strings so we could do something like this right pay attention so we do string name two is equal to the bob right so we just created a string with the name of name two and it's equal to bob right and now we can create another string so string uh two names we're just creating another variable here a string variable we could do name and we could add two strings together if we want to we could do name from up here that's name right so we'll do two names is equal to name plus and then we'll do name two so now we're adding randy or no, actually jerry to bob so let's see what happens when we print that out so see out uh, two names and then we'll just flush that there we go let's run that now 
and boom now we get Jerry Bob okay because we added the strings directly together and they're not separate and they're not separated by a space of course because we don't have a space right after Jerry of course so if we had a space like that now it'll do sp uh, Jerry space Bob so the no nope, one's already running so we have to redo it now we say now we see Jerry Bob with the space in between because of course we added a space after Jerry or we could have added a space before Bob, you know, whatever you want to do. But hopefully you get the point here, we're able to add strings now, that's called concatenation. Every time you add a string, that's concatenation, all right? So I'm just gonna show you another example of concatenation. So we'll do something like this, so string book. So we're gonna store the name of a book that I like. So string book is called Can't Hurt Me. Can't Hurt Me. It's a really good book, by the way. It's by David Goggins, I recommend it. One of the best books I've read. And so we'll make another variable, so final string. And we could do something like this, watch this. We do final string. My favorite book is, and we could simply do plus, and then we're adding on the variable string that we just created here onto this one here. So we're adding two strings together. Even though this one's not a variable, you can still add it to the other string. So that should add those strings together and then put them into the variable final string. So let's print that out and see what we get. So C out, final string, in line. There we go. So we'll run that, and let's see, it should work. Oops, we have to close the old one. Forgot about that. And so yeah, now we get my favorite book is Can't Hurt Me. That's awesome, right? It works perfectly. And we don't have to actually just add two every time. We could add more than two. We could add three, four, five, six, any amount of concatenation we could do. So we do book um, space by David Goggins. Of course, we could use a variable here if we want to instead of actual string literal. But you see the point, so let's print that out. And boom, we get my favorite book is Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. They all fits together perfectly. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you like that. It's very simple. It's a very simple process to make strings, but strings are very good for storing text, as you can see here, instead of integers, which is uh, used for storing numbers. But anyway, hopefully you like that. Um, if you have any questions about what we did this episode, I'll be glad to help you. Just leave a comment in the comment section below, or you can join our Discord. We have a Discord link in the description below also, so make sure you do that. Also, all the code from today's episode is going to be in the description too, so make sure you click it and uh, bookmark it for future reference in case you forget how to do something like this. So uh, anyway, if you like this video, leave a like if you want to see more, subscribe, and peace.